Today on Conor O'Toole's World of the Animal Kingdom, I, Conor O'Toole, am going to be teaching you about most animals, insects. Uh, uh, there's more than just, there's more than just people in the world. There's birds and fish and trees and snakes and whales and squirrels. If people knew about them, hearts might unfurl, might change the world. So I'm going to bring them to the world of the animal kingdom. Animal world of the animal kingdom. If I had to pick one animal to not be, it would be an insect. If you feel like your life is meaningless, and I've checked, it is. Imagine not being one of six billion people, but being one of a hundred trillion ants. Not only do ants outnumber us 16,000 to one, but ants are so numerous that their total collective weight is greater than the total weight of humans on Earth. Even if we include the humans that are currently in space, they still weigh more than us, which, to be fair, is relatively unsurprising, given that those humans are weightless. Thankfully, though, ants are even more racist than humans, and thus are very unlikely to gang up against us. Here we see an ant stumble upon a wasp's nest and leave pretty sharpish. I should say, while no animals were hurt during the making of this series, after principal photography, I did massacre all of these wasps. I feel bad about it, but hey, we were trying to sell the house. And they weren't buying. Despite commonly being attributed to the Wright brothers, flight was actually invented by insects hundreds of years before mankind thought of it. We probably did invent space travel, but I don't want to rule out the possibility that some insects went into space and just never came back. It is, however, fair to say, humans are the only animals that go into space regularly, but dislike it enough to return. Ladybirds, or person birds as I prefer to call them, are the only animals who use reverse psychological camouflage. Their camouflage is so unbelievably bad that other animals simply don't eat them out of pity. Yeah. Stick insects, on the other hand, are masters of camouflage. Can you spot the stick insects in these scenes? Well done if you managed it. I certainly couldn't. Spiders are generally regarded to be the cutest of the insects. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Spiders aren't insects. They are the cutest invertebrate. Bees are the soundest insect by far, but have a hard time of it. Here's a bee that's got all stuff stuck to his legs. What a nightmare. Here's a slug eating a lasagna. Isn't that the grossest thing you've ever seen? Rhinos are remarkable insects. Not only because of their size, but also because the pincers on their head can be used to cure erectile dysfunction in humans. Doctors are at a loss to understand why, and it is sad because the few rhinos that we have left are in great danger of extinction as a result. Rhinos can only produce a new swarm once every two years, and as the number of humans who cannot achieve an erection grows, more and more of these mighty bugs must die. You would think having massive aphrodisiacs stuck into your faces would cause the rhinos to mate more frequently, but oddly enough, it doesn't appear to affect their sex drive at all. I like insects. They make me feel like a giant, and they've helped me put the meaninglessness of our lives in perspective. At least we aren't ant slaves, eh? 16,000 ants is a lot of ants to look after. Jesus, can you imagine? <laughs>